concede la palabra Pai Hai International Community, por favor. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. <clears throat> Last year, the Baha'i International Community issued a report documenting state-sponsored incitement to religious hatred against members of the Baha'i faith in Iran. Incitement to hatred is despicable in, it, in and of itself, but even more when it engenders acts of violence that are condoned, if not encouraged, by the government. For seven years, we've witnessed an upsurge in violent attacks on Iran's Baha'is. Some families faced the terror of firebombing in the middle of the night or were devastated to see their shops destroyed by arsonists. Others had their homes, workplaces, or vehicles vandalized, windows broken, walls defaced with hateful graffiti. Dozens of Baha'i cemeteries were desecrated, damaged, or completely demolished. Hundreds of Baha'i schoolchildren were insulted, humiliated, and harassed by teachers and administrators, and hundreds of Baha'i businesses were shut down by officials. Moreover, we have documented over a hundred cases where government interrogators subjected Baha'is to beating, solitary confinement, and other violations under the mandate of the Special Rapporteur on Torture, or where plains clothes agents physically assaulted those who were known to be members of the Baha'i community. And yet another gross violation. Immun impunity systematically covers Iranian officials and plain clothes agents who attack Baha'is. We are not aware of a single instance where even one of the perpetrators was prosecuted, much less convicted or imprisoned. Baha'is cannot hope to obtain protection and justice from the authorities who incite hatred against them and a judicial system that without any reason whatsoever treats them as, as enemies of the state. We have prepared a new report to present statistics and illustrative cases of officially sanctioned violent acts against Baha'is. Entitled Violence with Impunity, the new publication has been launched at this session of the Council. Thank you.